wow, look at this. This is like so amazing. We even have the x-ray pictures so they did some exams here did some tests here wow hey guys and welcome back to more seven days to die alpha 19 we're here doing a buried treasure supply run and oh where is all these guys coming from i just had three of them attack me as i went on my bicycle and I wasn't even ready to record. I was just about to go close to my buried treasure. I was like, la la la, and all of a sudden, three of them attacking me. Good amount of feathers, though. And oh yeah, baseball bat. I was going to get to that. You ruined the surprise, you you flying dog. Anyway, so um, yeah, completely threw me off guard now. So we're doing the buried supply treasure this morning. I spent my last resources on forged iron that I was collecting during the night on making a baseball bat because that is 40 forged iron. Uh, the reason I want to use a baseball bat instead of of this guy is because it uses less stamina I think and stamina is still a bit of an issue for me so let's put in these two guys in here and you'll see we get actually um, 23 damage is nearly the same and the, the stamina cost is 18 and here the stamina cost is 22 So we do save a little bit on the stamina cost and I know it's not the same range, but I think it's still good I think it's good Oh, nice! We completely did not aim for the head and it still struck him. And obviously that would be considered a glancing blow and I don't know why I let myself get hit there. I just, I, I felt bad for Charlie over here and I just thought, you know, let him get a hit in, you know, so he doesn't feel all left out. Oh, here we go. Excellent. It's actually right at the edge, is it? Also, somebody said that we should try out to un uh, dig up a block beside the treasure that that spawns possibly a zombie. I don't know if that's a thing, but we we'll try it out Yeah, there's just some stone there. I don't think there's a zombie gonna spawn if we dig around it really to be honest There we go Not really, but it's right there. There we go Nice look at that. We already have that recipe. That's awesome. And here we go. Butty 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 <laughs> Whoa, drama queen! Okay, that was interesting. I did get hit a few times actually this morning, so that's all good. We can't let that become the norm. So why don't we eat something? Very delicious here. Very nice. Very good. I like it. And these guys here, I think... Can we use them in recipes? No, it's not. It's the actual spaghetti recipe. Which uses, oh, large beef ration, and these ones are chicken rations. Okay, so the chicken rations we don't use in recipes is the beef one and the can of pasta. So we have to remember that. Uh, one of the questions also came up on my stamina is actually at 145. So when you eat something like the Shamway bowl, um, which I had last time as well, when we, uh, I think it was the end of two episodes ago, um, it gives you a max stamina bonus. Eating cooked food increases your max stamina. Higher quality foods like meat stew add greater bonus. Your max stamina is increased by 30. So this is where this is coming from. And once we fit, once this is gone, this goes back down to 115 or whatever it is. So, and that's the sham chowder that we ate. Increases your fortitude, grows chest hair. Is that fortitude? Is that something we have here? Is it fortitude? Look at that. Where's my chest hair though? Hmm. I don't know if I want chest hair. I mean, I have a female character. That would make me feel uncomfortable. Uh, it depends. If it's winter time, then it could be okay. Oh, before I hand this in... Oh, yeah, I don't have any points. I was going to actually put some in that adventurer perk. A shotgun duckbill mod. That is actually interesting. I like that. Let's take that and see what other jobs you actually have. You have a... Wow, the closest one you have is a fetch quest at 1.2 kilometers. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take that. And I don't think... Is there anything we want to sell right now? Look at that, 560. Oh, yeah, we want to sell this. Thank you, because we already know that. You gave it to us last time. And I think that's about it right now. I don't think we want to sell anymore. But this mod, I actually want to see if we can put it onto our... Oh, we only have one mod, but that's okay. So this is actually better, I think, because this is spreads to a horizontal pattern of the normal round one. That is good. I like that. So it means we have more spread so we can hit more zombies. And we have a torch on our forehead, so we don't really need the flashlight on our weapon. All right, let's actually go through the house as well and loot as much as we can. I think there wasn't much loot here in the hallway. 
Let me see here. We didn't loot the bathroom yet, so let's have a look at that. We have some coffee beans, and we have our bike outside. And oh, look at that, a pistol. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. That is so sweet. Yeah, we're going to need more repair kits, so I queued up. We're going to go down there in a second. So I queued up the... Let me move this in here. So I queued up some more glue at the trader. There we go. Is there another zombie in here? Is there anything behind? Oh, look at that, a wall safe. Now, how long would it take to knock that wall safe out? That used actually up all our stamina. And here we go. That's the last one. Beautiful. So that took like, oh, look at that. Totally worth it. Oh, nice. What is that? 31 range damage. And this is 17 for 10 pellets. That's 170 most likely. So this is really, really good. I'm liking this. Nice. Now, a lot of people have said in the comments like that they found like, say, a pistol on day one or whatever. I, I don't know if that's a bug or not, but there could be, of course, an intentional small percentage that you can find the next tier up in the loot. Of course, absolutely, could be the case. Um, for me, I don't think that was actually the case. I think I found everything was in the realm of my own tier so far. Okay, let's see if there's anything behind here. Oh, I like that you have these things now on the tables and everything. So we have a kitchen area here as well. Ooh, ooh. I thought I heard a bird. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised. But we have some plastic here, very good, I like it. Some gunpowder, which is always very handy. And what do we have here? This is the front door. All right. That is really nice. Actually, this front door was open. So we didn't have, have, even have to bash it in. Is that something to loot? No, but we can probably use a wrench on that. But we're not going to right now. So let's actually take all these guys as well with us. And um, make sure that we finish the kitchen. Get this loot here. And then go downstairs. All right, let's put a chest here. There we go. And let's just dump everything in that we looted so far. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's see. Um, we have a lot of these packages as well, but we haven't really looted anything down here. Oh, this is awesome, though. Oh, we did loot the purse. There's some garbage here as well. Very good. And I don't think it's worth to destroy any of those. This is just a little bit of wood. They don't really give you a lot of wood either. So, yeah, I don't think there's much benefit in destroying these guys. No. And then we can go downstairs. So, let me just get all these guys and then we're gonna head downstairs. All right, let's go down here. Now, we already killed a lot of the zombies down here. I don't know if they respawn or not. I don't know if there's anything behind here either. I mean, this is only 300, so let me see. Is that coal or is that stone behind here? I'm just curious, because if it's coal... No, it's just stone. Okay, so then we don't have to worry about a thing. Okay. I don't think there was anything secret here either. So let's go through here. And yeah, if you have a wrench, these things here, just like an Alpha 18, they give you a lot of resources and probably a lot of electrical parts. I think it was the axe or it was the pickaxe. You're not gonna get them. You have to use the wrench, so which is really, really nice. And that is a change in Alpha 19 as far as I know, because in Alpha 18 you just got all the resources, no matter what tool you used, which is great. Oh, look at this. So these guys here give you loads of bones, potassium, and all sorts of other things. So let's actually see if we can uh, get more resources if we zip those bags with a knife. Is that possible? Let me see. So what do we get? Two, four, six nine so do we get more than if we do that let me see let me disappear ah it's not that much of a loss so it's fine i can use the axe okay that wasn't really amazing loot okay that was nothing wow look at the crates in there nice let's oh this is closed all right so if this is closed it means that there is either another way in through the roof hopefully 
Or we're just gonna wait until these guys punch their way through this. Um, yeah, we can't use the lockpicks on that, so we're just gonna have to wait for these guys to punch through. In the meantime, we look for alternative ways, of course. Because I know we can get up here, for example, which maybe gets us in there as well. Look at all those bones. That is absolutely fantastic. So much more glue to make. So let's see what these guys give us. Okay, so they just give us metal. And um, I might come back with the wrench here to see what we're gonna get. And leave them here. Okay, let's go. Oh, unlocked. What is this? Ooh. Oh, yes. This is the door, uh, the side door for this. Very good. So basically, this here is where we came from at the end of the last episode, which is basically this room here, which you get in from this side, which is basically the same thing. So let me pick up all of these guys here and then... Ooh, hang on a second. Can we get through... Oh, that's a thousand. But this is seven thousand. Well, let's wake them up. Maybe we can get into that from above as well. All right, let's go up here and see what we can do here. Oh, there was one more of those. Very good. So these guys, this door is closed and this door is locked. So let's see if we can get access to any of that. I think we can get access to the one below us from the corner there. Okay, what do we have here? Just some garbage. We have a trash can here, very good. We killed already all the zombies in here. It was just a couple of lab uh, guys. Oh, nice. That is actually really good. Oh, yeah, and of course, pick up all the chairs if we can. Oh, that's actually lootable. Okay, a little bit of water. A wrench? No. <laughs> it would be nice if we could find another wrench. That would be really awesome so we don't have to craft one. There we go. Are these guys coming in now? No, they're not. They're still banging through the doors, so excuse the background noise. But it just means, you know, that we're not alone. We don't feel as lonely. It's nice, you know, have a little bit of background noise. is always appreciated, you know. Then what do we have here? A little bit of coffee? No, nothing. Oh, mm, all right. Let's see here. A little bit more wood from the chairs. And then we're going to head down there in a second to show these guys a warm welcome with a shotgun. There's nothing better than to welcome people with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave the TV alone because again, we're only getting iron from that unless we actually use the wrench And I didn't make a wrench yet. We need to put oh the next point into salvage operations I just earned a point early on when I was picking up all the cobblestone and everything underneath So I think this is a really good um, choice now so we can make um, the Wrench, okay. Are we ready? Let's go. There we go, I like it. They're already dead. We're playing on Warrior and they already died. Wow, okay. Fair enough. So what do we have here? We have a lot of cloth. We have a lot of beds again, which are better off destroyed with... Oh. Oh, nice. Is the other door open now? That actually would be really good. Um, I think we're going to have to repair this one. Uh, we had a few more shots left in it, but let's repair it anyway. Oh, that's good. So they're gonna open up. Oh, that. Pr oh, yes. You see that? That probably leads into the room. Yes, where the other zombies came out of. That is actually pretty cool. Let me just get all the cloth and then. Oh, there's a door here to a bathroom. Hello. How are you? Nice. Okay, so let's loot the bathroom as well, and then we're gonna head over to get the cloth, more pumpkin seeds. I would like to get a mushroom seed, that would be really cool. Oh, wow, first aid kit, that is really handy. Oh, crap, that was the wrong button. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna keep the die, I'm gonna scrap the die if I can. So that way, we can at least get the paint back. Excellent, and I made the chest outside, so we're gonna be able to store our resources. Oh, look at that. There's actually a fake floor. Nice. A moldy backpack. I mean, it wasn't the best loot, but I didn't even pay attention to the floor. So is there another one that stands out? No? Okay, that's just metal. And, all right. Let's head on. Let's continue. Let's go through here. Oh, look at all the loot. That's where the other zombies came from. And this is where we have a way out. 
Okay, we're gonna get out there in a second. Whoa, look at that, baby. Now, these guys, of course, made already... Oh, main loot! We already uh, got a way in, so... Ah, he's only, he's only one. There we go. Let's see. We're only playing on Warrior, you know. Oh, yes! I love it. Pummel Pete is coming into play here. Nice. Oh. Ooh, they give me a bit of a fright. I left it a little bit too late there. And then there was silence. Excellent! Off to the loot room! <laughs> wow, look at this. This is like so amazing. We even have the x-ray pictures. So they did some exams here, did some tests here. Wow, okay, what do we have? Um, let's pick up these chairs for uh, leather. Before we get onto the big loot, let's have a quick look through the kitchen. Oh man, this looks amazing. Look at that, we got a pill case. We got some cupboards here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a, um, a quick rush through all this. I'm gonna want to really have a look at all this. This is nice. Okay, we have a pill case. Oh, nice. Oh, look at the medical. Oh, yeah, we are encumbered, but that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Please, wrench. No, wrench. No, okay. One more chance. Wrench, no, that's already empty. Okay, so we're gonna open the boxes in a second. Okay, we have some dye here. We can scrap, scrap, scrap. There we go. Make a little bit of room. Beautiful. Um, also, the pipes, we can scrap them as well. We have plenty. More medical piles. Oh, wow. That was a lot. That was actually 20 gunpowder. Very nice. And what do we have here? More jars. Popping pills. This is a really nice mixed bag of loot. We have, like, loads of... Uh, lab equipment and stuff. Oh, goldenrod flowers. Okay, we can pick them, but I take them. Wrench? <laughs> Wrench? Oh, look at that. A chili dog recipe. Nice. Okay, so chili dog. I suppose the cans of chili that we already wasted. A little bit of meat and cornbread. And cornbread is easily made. Cornmeal? Cornbread is actually locked. Okay, Master Chief, we have to learn this. Just cornmeal and water, and cornmeal is made from ear of corn. That is actually pretty amazing. Okay, we're gonna have to get some cornmeal, actually, and start hoarding that. That would be pretty sweet. I want to make a lot of these special foods if we can. Okay, so I think that's it. So let's open all the boxes here, then have a look inside. Okay, gun store box first. Okay, Iron Cloth, is that some armor we can... Is that an improvement? It is. Armor critical resistance. And it's the same amount of um, mobility and stamina loss in this. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we actually have any modifiers on that. We have one modifier on it. So let's put it on this one. Modify. Excellent. And now we can wear this. And we can sell this one. Let's repair this one so we can sell it. We'll probably increase in value after repaired. 172. Very nice. Oh, an anvil. Lovely. I love it. Nice. What else do we have? Ooh, steel tool parts. Oh, wow. This is really cool. And the anvil actually gives us forge crafting speed. Oh, man. This is going to come in so handy. And boom! For the big loot. Okay, what do we have here? This is minus three in armor. Now, here's the question always. You know, do you want to take a little bit of drop in armor but full mobility? Or do you not care about the mobility? You know, that's always the question. So... I don't know. And you have more mods. Oh, look at this. We have robotic parts. Nice. Ammunition. And then we also have books. Urban combat. Landmines. Train your ear for the distinct clicking sound of a landmine and save your legs for another journey. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. Oh, yes. We're going to have to test that out. At the other, the HC2 base that we, that we uh, marked that has mines, we still have to try that. <laughs> We're probably going to blow ourselves up nonetheless. Doorknobs. Did you know that many doorknobs are parts like hinges are made from brass, bullets casings are made from brass, learn how to harvest brass from doors. Yes, I love it. So many mods do that in modded. It's just so nice to see the base game actually including that. Because one of the things that made sense is when you destroy a door, especially a wooden door, it has a doorknob, you know. It should give you something in return. Of course, absolutely. All right, let's go. Before we um, leave, let's get these... Oh, is there something to loot that I missed? Let me see. Let's get these uh, cobblestones. 
and we might as well queue up some flagstone to be honest there we go a hundred that would be fine because we want to try something out so a few of you left some suggestions for bases i also linked a video from a uh, reach gaming i think it was is that the right name um that actually showcased a lot of bases that worked in alpha 18 to show if they still work in alpha 19. very good video i linked it in the community tab so go check it out and oh is that where it is oh look at that nice <gasps> oh whoa where is that Oh, look at this. That is so awesome. Cool. Okay, so let's actually go here and destroy a door and see if we can get a doorknob, if that's the case. Okay, it's unlocked, but when we destroy it... Yes, you got a doorknob. This is amazing. And we don't need it for brass. Hello? Oh, Schweppes. All right, let's before um, we do anything else, let's um, empty our bags a little bit. And I put some stuff in the bicycle. I took all Make the chest snappy. items as well. I gotta take a and crap. we want to see if we can sell some things. Okay, we're gonna sell that. We're going to sell, yeah, let's sell this one as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, all these parts we could sell for quite a lot of money, but I'm gonna keep them. But silver, right, silver is not really something we use, is it? No. Get out of my store. That is amazing. So we can actually sell it. So we're going to sell all the silver. That's 250. Very good. And then we can sell this pistol as well for 21, which is absolutely fine. And we're going to keep this pistol then instead. So I don't know if there's anything else that's worth selling. We're going to sell the doorknobs right now. I'm not really worried too much about brass at this point. So we're fine. And I think that's it. Is there any anything I want to buy? I don't think I do. Forge steel. Wow. Okay. But that's like 4,600, so that's a lot of money. Let's actually save the money and buy things when we really need them, I think. And every now and then, of course, we check into here. Look at that, an AK-47, actually. So that would be pretty uh, sweet as well. Now, he actually has supposed to be have food and seeds. So, and he doesn't, which is interesting. So what type of food do you have? Do you have any mushrooms? You have mushrooms. So let's buy all the mushrooms. Shit, and man. see if we can I make seeds from them. And you don't even fucking tip me. Oh well, thank you very much. Or oh, is it oh mushroom spores? Yeah, we don't we can't do that. Living off the land. Okay. So that was all worth it. There we go. And now we can make a wrench. Oh, what do we need? Oh, we need three more mechanical parts. Do we have them? Oh yes. So we need mechanical parts so making the wrench means we theoretically can go back in the other base to see if we're gonna get mechanical parts or just com compute whatever it is yeah but now we actually have a wrench so we can make uh, get more of these parts and we can actually start wrenching cars for engines because the next thing we want to do is a cement mixer of course just to progress um which needs more forged iron which is no problem but it needs an engine and more mechanical parts and springs which we get for beds which also in the other base beside us was a lot of beds so we could actually go in there and do that also it seems our pumpkin is grown but i'm not really sure what happens will i just punch it is that it Oh, nice. And the seed stays. And we got a pumpkin. Yes, we have our first pumpkin. And we can make a jack o lantern from it. We have actually, hang on a second. We have a candle. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Screw this. We got to do this in a second. Yes. <laughs> got very excited there. So let's do the wrench now. And let's do the jack o lantern. Oh, this is amazing. Does it, does it give light? Actually, let me see. Let's turn off the light. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, this is amazing. I think we should have it right out here somewhere on the machine. There we go. No! Oh, I was really, really upset there for a second. I was like, no! Okay, so where can we put it that it actually means business here, right here in the window? There we go. Look at it. This is amazing. Can we pick it back up? No, we can't, but that's okay. We probably can destroy it. It seems to um, come back when we destroy it, but this is awesome. Look at that. We got a little jack-o'-lantern as well that points outside. That is so cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the morning, what we're going to do is we're going to do the next quest. 
And then we're going to head over to HC2, which was our second base. And we're going to test that we can walk over mines, apparently, hopefully. And then we're going to explore that um, POI. In the meantime, I'm going to wait until my ranch is made. And then we're going to head over. Well, I'm going to head over to the other place to see if I can ranch a couple of things and get some resources. And in the meantime, I'm going to continue working on my underground anyway. I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel, channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming.